chainsaw is ready! Start up the expert playlist, brother! It, <laughs> I can't. I think, um, objectively, uh, Donkey's top 100 games is probably the greatest, the greatest shit post video I've ever seen. Like, it's so bizarre and absurd in its delivery and execution that it's truly evergreen. Like, it's genuinely so bizarre that the content in it is evergreen. I think that's how you do it. You just gotta ratchet up the ridiculousness so much that the content just... It, 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 it. It's like self-sustaining content. It's so fucking weird. And I'll love it forever. But yeah, here we are again. Yeah, we're doing this blasted game again. Once more into the breach. Once more into the BS. You already know the deal. You wonderful crab people. You already know the deal. It's destiny. It's reset. I was gonna do I Am Alive, but I feel like... Hmm. I was gonna do it, but I feel like, you know, the pending story is definitely a higher priority in my small pea brain. You know? And, uh, I've been avoiding spoilers like the plague. I follow a lot of Destiny meme pages, unfortunately. And the fact of the matter is, uh, these Destiny meme pages have absolutely no reservations whatsoever on memeing the current story beats. So I've kind of had to stay off <laughs> of Instagram. I did, however, pick up just enough to realize that I think it's going to be a pretty crow-centric week. So, hopefully it's not about what I was ranting about last week, or I'm going to be very mad. I mean, I'm, I may just be mad anyway, but... You know, we, the grains of salt that I'm sure the entire Vanguard is taking me with is going to bite them in the ass very soon. And it's, it's going to be all their fault. It's going to be all their fault. Oh, come on. Let's check it out. My coven of Techians is almost assembled. Well done. Soon all they will be left to do is wait for the ley lines to fall into position. Then we may exercise Sabathun's worm and reclaim Osiris. She divulges more to you than I, Guardian. Though it can be difficult to separate poisonous words from the honeyed ones. I worry that the crow is especially susceptible. I feel the desire for approval in him. As I felt it in Aldrin, and he idolized Osiris almost as much as he idolizes you. Do not forget what has been asked of him. Until the ritual is ready, continue charting the line passages. We are so close to bringing the last of my lost Techians home. I have a really bad feeling about this.
It's not good. It's not good. I'm the only one that I feel fully appreciates this. But... What are you going to do? 216, 2... 2, 1... 1... Oh my god. 1... 6... 2... 1... 1... What's next? What's next on the docket? 1... At least we get a new unlock this week. What is this? Oh, my <coughs> Excuse me. Well. Oh, of course. Astral alignment it is. What are we looking at? What are we looking at for bounties this week? Uh, Submachine gun, sword, trace rifle. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, what do we got here? So, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, wow. Oh, there's my submachine gun. Submachine gun, sword, and trace rifle. Let's get that bad boy on there. Ayo. I'm talking Sonic 2006 for the Xbox, baby! Okay, so... You know what's really sad? What's really, really sad... Thank you. Uh, wow, I just, I, I just had a complete and utter brain fart. Okay, astral alignment it is. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, <laughs> woo, my brain. Um, yeah. So... I just don't think this is... I just don't see this ending well. You know? And it's a darn shame, too, because... In the most ideal situation... In the most ideal situation, we wouldn't be stuck like this. But I feel like everyone... Everyone is so caught up in trying to prove that their, that their 4D chess is superior to the others that I don't think they 
fully appreciate the level of fuckery that they're toying around with here. Like, truly cannot appreciate the level of fuckery that they're messing with. And... I'm not living for this. But... It's going to bite everyone in the ass. And I feel kind of helpless just sitting back and watching this happen. Which is what I'm being forced to do. Make no bones about it. I'm being forced to sit and watch this happen. Everybody thinks they're smarter than each other. And they all couldn't be more wrong. It's legitimately killing me. It's getting all up in my cheeks. With each ley line we restore, we get closer to our lost techians. And Zebu Araf's army gets closer to us. Okay, these, these gauntlets are clearly not properly equipped with anything I need. Okay, so I've got unstoppable sidearm. Yet this sidearm has no unstoppable logo on it. And I'm not getting unstop why am I not getting unstoppable proct on this sidearm? That's weird. Am I not using unstoppable sidearm on these gauntlets? Am I am I bugging? There you go. I was like, what the hell? There we go. Okay. Okay, so I think we can unequivocally say that uh, Twitch is broken. <laughs> Twitch is so broken. I chose the impossible. I chose short. Tail, baby! the week where we lose pro again this is the worst kind of confirmation bias right oh that person died look at that up oh, there he goes yeet i'll take that antenumbra you clearly failed Flames won't douse in its presence. You know, I wish that meant something. Like, imagine if uh, when that boss came off the floor caught on fire. That'd be a thing. Right? Can we appreciate, though, that Savathun's a fucking savage? She was like, oh, yeah, you guys know something about that. R.I.P. Cade. I said, you... Game full of dead people. I don't understand. Everybody wants to be black. likely the worst gameplay I've ever 
I've ever recorded. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really distracted. There's a person in my face. Get away from me. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Ah, what are you gonna do? Honeymoon periods. Leave me alone. Oh, this is actually mind-boggling. Like, I find it very, very strange that, uh... An iPad 3 cannot keep up with today's internet at all. <laughs> like, at all. My iPad is dying. It is, it is screaming and dying a slow, horrible death. Entire subclass needs nerfs. What the shit? Okay. Got Marasov thinking she's keeping Sabathun alive when really, I mean, what she's doing is kind of foolish. It's like the equivalent of taking uh, Piccolo's weighted clothing off. As I said last week, the entire point of the sword logic is balance. You know, I I'm not trying to sound like an advocate for the darkness here, but. You know, the, the entire point is balance. The traveler gives, the traveler provides, and provides enough that those who are imbued with its power are able to fortify and strengthen one another via collectivism. I mean, it, it's, it's basically cosmic socialism. <laughs> by any other name. It's basically cosmic socialism. And the darkness is like, no, you're actually cancer. And if you are allowed to gestate and just multiply unchecked, you will eventually sap all of the resources in the known universe and create such an imbalance of power 
that it, you know the life as you know it existence on its own without purpose or without danger or without merit is akin to death as far as the sword logic is concerned so the sword logic is like nah and instead of giving people unlimited lives we're going to just say if you have the right to exist you should prove it not only by surviving but by taking out all of your predators and all of your enemies now the thing about what the sword logic does is that the sword logic is not so much a zero-sum game as it is one that always is supposed to have a logical ending you feel me it's always supposed to have a logical ending and that is the ending of if 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 you're being given power by i.e. cutting down everything around you eventually you will become the apex predator eventually you will become the last thing that survives and again it's a zero-sum game because it, i mean i assume that everything will be ah, oh god sorry about that uh that everything will be that everything will be cutting itself down up until there's nothing else to be cut down and for the hive in particular if the worm is the one thing if the worm is the one thing keeping the hive in check i.e it's the thing that keeps them pursuing power and it is a single threat that will take them out when they can no longer pursue power the winnower's argument is pretty sound because eventually all life will end and then you know they're just going to start the gardening game all over again what the Traveler is doing is akin to just letting things live unchecked or live to the degree that it just consumes all until it's the last thing left and then it just stays that way. You know, the natural order of things doesn't get a chance to reset. And these people and whatever's left is just living in harmony. That seems inherently selfish as much as I like to support the light. That seems inherently selfish and inherently like a dead end of existence. That having been said, Hive are bound by their worm and the sword logic. Savathun does not want to be free of her worm so that she cannot take it. So that she cannot not be the apex prayer. Savathun wants to be free of her worm because her worm is the only singular guarantee that her existence will end at some point. If she stops feeding the worm, it kills her. If she kills everything else and there's nothing left to kill, it kills her. But if she's free of the worm, if she's essentially free of the contract, she can be like a guardian. And as we've already established, she got the necromancy drip from Nocris as she convinced him to be a pawn and nothing more than a sub-boss in her machination. She's got the secrets of necromancy. As we saw, unfortunately, in the Witch Queen preview, she has figured out a way to essentially conceive of a ghost. But if Sabathun has no, if isn't bound by a worm, then she's free to accrue as much power as she wants to without consequence, without limit, and with a power that's akin to the light in perpetuity. And, you know, if, if I can just be casually self-aware, that's basically what a guardian is. Except while the guardian does it to protect and to ultimately, you know, fortify and I guess you could say exalt life. She's going to use it to destroy everything she can and with a power that will only grow. We're basically helping Savathun turn herself into a guardian. Like, imagine how powerful Oryx would be if Oryx had all of the time in the world to accrue 
godlike power. Not just bound by a worm, but only bound by the limits of essentially her imagination. Guardians are extraordinarily powerful. And, it, I mean, it's nice to engage in the power fantasy, but we've never had to fight anything that's like a guardian before. Like, you have to understand, we've killed gods. We killed Crota's son. Crota's son. <laughs> we killed Oryx's son. Then we killed Oryx. Then we took out a Siva spliced fallen. Then we, we we took out the, 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 the leader of the Cabal. Then we took out an Ahamkara. Then we went to the black gu like do you see what I mean? It's boundless. When when you go when you eventually enter the corridors of time and go to what's essentially your funeral. Saint-14 makes a remark that you've basically killed hundreds of things at that point. You've basically survived anything that the world has thrown at you. And the one thing that did kill you Every time I is come described to the city, it feels like as an aberration, Perhaps as an abomination. You. Something Which, deeper than identity, yeah, deeper than weird. memory. Guardians but to leave me, their past behind by necessity. And his unwillingness choice. to describe it, his unwillingness to quantify to what it actually is, is not just a coy little writing trick. But the person behind them remains the same. Whoever I was, I felt think it comes here. with the implication that but you are actually anymore. so powerful. The tower is my home now. That the only thing that could probably kill you is you. And I wouldn't be surprised if being paracausal beings as we are, there isn't a timeline where we were corrupted by stasis, where we lost sight of the light and we instead turned on each other, or our character went to accrue great power instead of, you know, using it to protect. And it's entirely feasible. Like, I, the, the idea of fighting Zavala does not scare me. I've killed a hive god. The idea that Guardians are going to become even more powerful than they are now is not, you know, too far off. It's not too far out of the realm of possibility. And I genuinely think that the only thing that can kill our player character, the Guardian, is probably the Guardian itself. Maybe a corrupted version of him. Maybe a version of him that joined Aramis. Maybe a version of him that joined Oryx. Maybe a version of him that was just consumed. The same way Anna Bray might have been. You know? And... The idea that Savathun not only has that power, but can give it to others is terrifying. Terrifying. I don't know why, with all of the machinations that seem to be transpiring, all of the bright ideas that every character in this game seems to have, no one is stopping to say to themselves, hey, maybe untethering Savathun from the one thing that makes her... <sighs> the, uh, untethering her from the one thing that makes her death a foregone conclusion is not the best thing to do. I don't think there's something scarier than Savathun uh, being untethered from her worm. I don't think there's anything scarier than that. Because it's almost like you're taking the failsafe off. It's almost like you're taking the intentional limiter off. She is betraying the Winter Wars argument and essentially siding with the Traveler's logic, but in a very duplicitous and sneaky way that hides her true intentions. And, you know, what you say is just as important as what you don't say. And Savathun takes so much time to not say so many things that it, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that all of the principal characters of this game are overlooking this. And it's it's kind of hurting my it's kind of hurting my feelings 
it's kind of hurting my feelings that, you know, Zavala's not up on this lore because uh, we could really use his tactical insight. I'm just going to say it. We could really use his tactical insight right now. I just, I just feel like that's being grossly overlooked here. And unfortunately, we don't have, you know, we don't have a voice of reason because I think at this point, Zavala's faith is so shaken that we, we may have already lost him. Oh, barrier and overload. That's interesting. Okay, well... Let's see. Anti barrier means I'll be popping out Scatherlock. Pop out Dead uh, Gizenvex. Give me that. And give me that. And we're good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can completely get down with the complacency that a lot of this, uh, that a lot of these characters are exhibiting. They're not exactly operating on the highest frequency. Your trespass beyond the veil brings you closer to victory, oh, both mine and yours. Oops. God damn it. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, I just cut myself. Ow! I am so unbelievably accident prone, it's just hilarious. Is this not the door? I, I knew I I knew it was the other door. Ooh, it's the Ruins of Wrath. It's the one with the dreadnought in it. That's cute. I'm still not over the fact that that's actually the dreadnought. be an interesting day of discovering the ley lines.
beacon ahead. Be cautious. Beacon aligned. They'll have felt that. Be ready. <laughs> this weapon is so mean. I can't wait to see these new ley lines. There's got to be something interesting out there. Interesting. Oh, wait. Need a little bit of mechanical change here.
I need an auto rifle. Might need an auto rifle for this one. Mm. Where the heck is the summoner at? Am I bugging? Oh no. That's not good at all. Thank you. Of course I've got no ammo for this thing. I'm gonna check that sparkly wall down there. If I'm remembering correctly, I don't think I had Aegir Scepter the last time I came here. Which was about, well, realistically, about three weeks ago. Hold on, put a pin in that. Put a pin in that for a second. What's that wall I was looking at earlier? Come on.
Well, that was a little underwhelming. Be mindful when navigating for the beacons, Guardian, lest you wind up lost as well. You know, one thing that... What's hitting me? Oh, this hive ship. You know, one thing that's always flabbergasted me about the way Aldrin Sov has been treated is the fact that, you know, when Marasov says something along the lines of, oh, well, you know, why, why didn't you lead Crow home? Again, I say, again, I say, he, 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 he woke up in the Dreaming City, guys. I'm just saying, I, I don't think Petra was watching after him very closely if he was able to escape from the Dreaming City and then just get bodied by humanity for essentially having, I mean, he does, he is kind of paying for the crime of, of killing Nathan Philly. What the fuck just killed me? Did I just get killed by a moon rock? That over there. Beacon aligned. They'll have felt that. Be ready.
Okay. There we go. Well, with both beacons aligned, I can just, um, I can actually run around a little bit. Oh god. Saladun is literally asking us to take her nerfs off.
Who wants to bet that taking her worm away from Savathun is going to, um, is going to kill her? And she'll be reborn. Potentially with her memories. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> Whose idea was it to put fields of strife in between gaps? I apologize in advance for being a little bit more boring tonight. There's just, um, really not too much going on in the Shattered Realm itself. What the fuck? Oh, God. Aside from some weird, odd mechanical things, like whatever the hell is going on over there. just happened. Hmm. Okay. Soul Fire Exarch. I knew that thing was going to drop something. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. See that it is undone, Guardian. Yes, Mom. I just want to toss out there that these are fucking worm bones. These are actual worm bones.
I sense Whoa. other wizards somewhere beyond the portals maintaining this ritual. Oh, okay. They must be stopped. So I'm going to assume it has something to do with these runes here that I'm seeing. Which rune matches up with the ones I'm seeing here? Looks like only one. Looks like it's that one. Wait. What did I just shoot and why did that work? Worked out perfectly, didn't it? Hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, look at that. This is pretty interestingly lived in. These symbols are kind of strange, but I think I understand what it needs me to do. That jumping through this one is good. Yep. I am I'm basically doing a little bit of pattern recognition here. Matching up the symbols. I'm running into the thick. What is shooting me? So let's try this again. Jump through this portal. Then from this portal, jump through that portal. There we go. This is bizarre. Okay. I think it's this one. Heyo. What did I say? It's, it's, it's actual Destinyvania, and I'm moving for it. That's actually legitimately cool. I love the way this place is evolving every time you return to it. It's such interesting design. And then I'm, I'm loving the light, puzzly nature of this. This works really well. It just feels like like if you're paying attention, like there's there's so much that can be mined out of this. Okay. Which one of these doors was it again? This one. Wow. 
<laughs> oh god, come on with these doors. It's this one. Yep. I feel like I'm slowly opening a procedural combination lock of some sort. Sought to create a breachway between this realm and Zivor Roth's throne world? I am uncertain such a ritual could have succeeded. Zivor Roth must be desperate to stop Savathun. How unfortunate for her. Whoa! I love that at one point Sabathun says something along the lines of how many people looked at you and said to themselves, ah, well, that's why guardians are so powerful. Something along those lines. You know, did anyone look at your ghost and say that? Some may have even thought to take a shot at it. R.I.P. Cade. Damn, how did Savathun know about that? 
not only that, but again, she's also hinting that she knows exactly what makes Guardians as powerful as they are. You know, to not take that as an explicit admission that she's on the precipice of gaining our secrets is beyond me. Uh, we're gonna take a second and check the lore of the skull of Dire Ahamkara. Check the skull of Dire Ahamkara. What kind of talking skull would address its host that way? A stiff, stuck-up old fossil. Not me. Ahamkara. The illusion that one's ego depends on an object, or an idea, or a body. Some people say you should have no Ahamkara. Some people say you need to have the right Ahamkara. All I know is that you are not an illusion. Understand? This world around you, the people you meet, they're a little thin, right? Cardboard and drywall. Cheap theater. Come on, try it. Say it out. Say, I am more real than this. Feels good, doesn't it? I am the only real person here. Isn't it like their insults and their bullets just went a little soft? I came to find you because you're special. You're from somewhere real. And together, we can burn our way back there. Can't we, O oh player mine? <clears throat> that's. That, that's meta as fuck. That's meta as hell. <laughs> they literally just caught like this this skull just called some of this game's character cardboard and thinly defined <laughs> never mind that it actually just said verbatim oh player mine Savathun's really good at breaking the fourth wall, isn't she? Zeboorov's forces are converging on the area.
Well done. We've detected the Lost Techians' location through the Beacon Network. Bring her home. Man, that beam. That beam was awful. Our successes here are mounting, Ikora. We may not need as many hands as you've sent. Are you asking me to recall the crow back to the city? You know this isn't a secure channel, right? That was good. I like that. <laughs> you know this isn't a secure channel, right? I'm telling you, I, I hate people that do that. You think by not mentioning something, you think you're keeping something a secret or you're you're not lying, but Crow is smarter than that. We're smarter than that. And everybody in between who thinks that they're not are probably about to get a rude awakening. I mean, if Crow can steal from the spider and kind of get away with it, what makes you think he's not going to be able to w w um, worm his way into Sabathun's chambers? He's a hunter. There's a reason he came back as a hunter. There's a reason that before he died, he was a hunter. I, again, the arrogance on display here is just, it's, it's totally soul crushing. What did I say? What did I say? <sighs> I knew it. 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 <sighs> at the very least, at least we're going with him. At least we're going with him. Let's go. Mara, you idiot! Move! Oh, shit. Oh, no. You were kind to me. I thought you were my friend. Am I not? You lied to me! I helped you break Zivu Aras' hold on the shore. Brought you to the last city. Offered you guidance. With lies. Stop. If that's what you want. I want the truth. I was kind to you because I wanted to be. Because the truth hurts. You know this better than anyone. Shrinking away from the rumors of the man you used to be. I'm not him. How can you say that? when you don't even know who he is. If the truth is what you really want, then lay your hand on me. No, no, Crow, no. don't. Please. No. See? 
Even your ghost thinks you're better off in the dark. Shut up, you thrallsicle. No! Oh, God. Don't. Don't come any closer. What did you show him? Everything. No, wait! Oh, no. You hurt him. Someone had to. Better for it to have come from a friend. Fucking called it! Don't give me that look. I told you that you can't stop the inevitable. Deep down, Crow wanted to know. He was going to find out one way or this another. This is everybody else's fault. I told, no. I said you guys you should, should have just me. told him. Just imagine if it had come from someone with bad intentions. Someone who could have colored the truth about how he died to turn him against you. Against the Traveler. But I would never do such a thing. Lies. I see too much of myself in him. Fucking lies. We're both looking for our purpose. Now that the Crow has found his as a Guardian, he can see it for what it truly is. A second chance. Something to reflect on. If people didn't want him to know, was it to protect Crow from himself? Or was it to protect themselves from Crow? I do so enjoy our talks. I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick. Mara, this is your fault. This is everybody's fault. Mara, Petra, Zavala, Ikora. Everybody's fault. You fool. Why didn't you tell him you... Ah, fuck. Crow. Crow. Bro. Good timing. I was just looking for you. Aldrin Sov. Awoken prince. Brother to the queen. Murderer. Now I know the man I was. And you. You. I'm sorry. You did what you had to do. I don't think I would have told me either. <sighs> Savathun's visions were like a waking dream. I could feel the heat of the flames. Taste the blood in my mouth. I saw everything he did through his eyes. You're afraid of who I used to be. That he'll come back somehow. I am too. So I've asked Ikora to put me on another assignment. One where I can be somewhere I know my choices are my own. Tell Mara. Tell her whatever you want. I'll see you again when I'm ready. This is certainly a better outcome than I would have expected, but there's no way it's over. There's no way this ends here. Man, this week was, um...
This week's story beats were definitely a little bit more contained. I appreciate the lack of repetition in this week's, um, you know, quest through line, but wow. <sighs> and definitely, definitely went a lot better than it could have. You know, not gonna, not gonna take that for granted. I mean, that, that could have been far worse. Yeah, that could have been far worse. <laughs> but Crow wanting to be alone still gives me pause. Damn. I think the part that sucks, I think the part that's, you know, worse to me is that... We had a chance to get ahead of it. Who knows what else Savathun told him? Who knows what else Savathun put in his head? I... Psh, hell if I know. You know? Uh, fuck. The season just gets stranger and stranger, I tell you. I knew that was going to happen, though. There was no way in hell you were going to keep Crow away for too long. It was arrogant to even lightly suggest that we had that ability in the first place. I mean... I mean, I'm, I'm still surprised he didn't find it out while being just routinely beaten to death, so... I'm just saying. I'm surprised he didn't find that out while being routinely beaten to smithereens for being who he was in the first place. Something to be said about that, I suppose. There were better ways. There were absolutely better ways to handle that. That's the kind of thing that shakes your faith, shakes your allegiance, you know? What do you do when you've just found out that everyone around you has betrayed you? And not deliberately, but again, through omission, through withheld information. How do you trust anyone around you again after that? How do you regain your ability to trust? It's wild, dude. Damn, Muldron, I'm sorry, dude. It's kind of bleak. I hope, I really hope we didn't lose him entirely to the wolves there. Hmm. Hmm. I tell you, man, we're surrounded by bad actors. Full auto and opening shot. Let's go. Thank you. to work on range. Yeah, still no.
<laughs> I'm running out of space because I'm, I'm, I'm stacking all of these engrams because there's a small part of me that thinks if I pop them all at once, Aaron Jesus will smile on me and just cover me in bright dust and cool, you know, gains. There's something to be said about re-rolling this algorithm several times in a row. I'm going to see if I can break the RNG. That'll be fun. Never broken the RNG before. See how it goes. Man, what, what do you do from here? Do we just banana out? Do we just get our potassium on? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Take my brain off of this. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of days out in these streets, guys. I gotta tell you. Not the prettiest of outcomes. Not the prettiest of outcomes, I say. Not it. That's it. Well, I f oh, hmm. Well, I figure at the very least, <sighs> at least we kicked off that that part that portion of the story was like that elephant in the room was killing me anyway, you know, and I, I'm saying that for crow's sake. Like, I still firmly believe that was not something that should have been kept a secret from him. The fact that it was for so long. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm surprised he didn't storm off and just start lopping off heads. He actually had the patience and the wherewithal He legit had the wherewithal to say, you know what, let me just separate myself from this situation from the people in it you know, there, there's a way that we can work around this. So I'm glad that worked out the way it did. I say we uh, maybe take out some of these latent frustrations, hop into Crucible for a bit. Am I bountied up? No. Alright, let's go to orbit then. Acquire the Crucible ornament for Ascendancy. Well, speak of the devil. Sounds like a plan. Rover gang, rover gang, rover gang, rover gang. I will be right back once more into the breach. Let's generate some genuine salt. After these messages, be right back.
that and she makes no fight with her. I need a girlfriend. <sighs> <sighs> Why do things happen at all, man? Boy, I tell you. Zone C captured. The flames have ignited. Let the wolves hunt. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Zone C captured. You captured Zone A. Zone advantage is yours. The hunt has ended. <laughs> Opponent claimed zone B. You captured zone A. Opponent claims zone C. Zone B captured. You have the advantage. Press on. You captured zone C. I'm calling it. 
The flames have gone cold. A stirring victory. Your courage in victory is an inspiration. Iron Banner. Let us see what today's guardians are made of. Opponent claims zone C. Opponent claimed Zone B. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours.
Zone A lost. Their momentum. Keep pushing. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone C lost. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. Zone B lost. Zone A lost. The howl of the wolf is not the end. Be vigilant. The hunt has ended. Zone A captured. Opponent claimed zone C. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. Five minutes remain. Zone A lost. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours.
Three minutes left. Zone B lost. Your opponents have nearly won. Show them you won't go quietly. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Not this time. There is nobility in defeat. Come back stronger.
You have the advantage. Press on. Zone advantage is yours. You have the advantage. Press on. Yes, the hunt is on. The howls are quiet. Return to the fight. Zone advantage is yours. Zone advantage is yours. You have the advantage. Press on. Zone advantage is yours. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Two zones are yours. You have the advantage. Press on.
is yours for the taking. Seize it. The flames have ignited. Let the wolves hunt. Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure and you have them. Undeniable. No reward is as well earned as one from a well-fought victory. Iron Banner. Young Wolves and Iron Lords, to battle! Captured Zone C. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. You captured Zone A. Ah oh, yes, the hunt is on! The hunt has ended. You captured Zone A. Captured Zone C. Zone advantage is yours. You captured Zone B. Now you are the wolf. Finish the hunt.
I'm calling it. Guardian, crush them. Enough. Your victory is secured. More victories like this will carry the Iron Banner into a new age. Iron Banner. Use everything in your power. Fight and prevail. You captured Zone A. the advantage. Press on. Zone C captured. Opponent claimed Zone B. Ah, oh, yes. The hunt is on. The hunt has ended. Zone B captured. Opponent claimed Zone A.
Zone B lost. Zone A captured. Opponent claimed Zone C. Zone A lost. Now you are the hunted. Another hunt will come soon. Zone A captured. Five minutes remain. Opponent claimed Zone B. Opponent claimed Zone C. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Your opponents have nearly won. Show them you won't go quietly. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone B lost. Learn from this defeat. The measure of a guardian is how they handle defeat.
Iron Banner. And now, fight! Zone advantage is yours. Have the advantage. Press on. You are in control. Show them what that means. to the fight. being hunted. Don't let your guard down. are quiet. Return to the fight.
Five minutes remain. Now you are the hunted. If they prevail, it won't be because you let them. Keep fighting. are quiet. Return to the fight. If you face them again, remember this day. They hear the howls and no fear. Your weapon defines you. are quiet. Return to the fight. You have the advantage. Press on. Hunt is on. are quiet. Return to the fight. Uh. 
I'm calling it. Guardian, crush them. Well fought. The end has come, and here you stand, a battle worthy of the Iron Lords. Always good to see another hero of the tower. I know you'll use this well. Strength in life. Step on up. Take a look. Checking now. Done.
Good luck. Hmm, what cipher is this? Yes, yes, Guardian, by all means. Let's get started. Calling it. Time for a break. Light versus light. Your light will guide you home. Trust in it. <laughs> 